Okay, we're almost ready to put this ram pump down in the creek. I've decided I'm going to use the vertical style. And uh, I'm going to try and find a place where I can get by with just 20 foot of drive pipe. I think I know a spot down there. But today, I want to do a test. We all know that for this ram pump to work, You've got to have significant back pressure to counteract the forward pressure that we have to make this pump cycle. Uh, in my previous video, you saw me just run this blue hose up, up a ladder attached to a tree and then connected to my delivery, uh, delivery fitting here. But today we're going to experiment with something a little more complicated the question today is can you deliver downhill well I, I don't think I have to do a physical test to answer that question delivering downhill means there's absolutely in fact there's less than zero pressure on the pump if it won't work when I have the hose disconnected, it's certainly not going to work if I run my hose downhill probably at least eight foot drop in pitch there. But what if we came back uphill? Go downhill and come back up. Since water seeks its own level, will that balance things out? Let me get this thing filled up with water and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here's the situation. We got a reservoir here. Let's pretend like that's your creek. And we've got some pitch here. We we'll call this a head of almost three feet. In other words, the intake on this drive pipe is sitting just about three feet above the level of my pump. So gravity is going to pull the water down here. The pump's going to start pumping. Now, let's talk about the going downhill part. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to come from my pump, run downhill all the way over to that power pole you see right there, that utility pole because there's an irrigation ditch there. Let me go down here and I'll show you what this looks like. It's a pretty good walk. It's over 150 feet down here, probably 175, 180 feet down to this place. Let me get down here to the end of the, where I've took my hose and I'll show you what we're talking about. All right, my ram pump is right behind the corner of my house there. You can see the blue hose going up into the tree. I've come down the hill, probably 150, 175 feet, into a depression. This is probably another two foot drop, so altogether we're probably looking at eight foot depression, which would be about 11 feet lower than my reservoir. So I'm pretty sure if I just cut my hose there, turn my reservoir on, even without the pump operating, it would probably send water down to this ditch. You know what I'm saying? Water is going to flow downhill. But what we're going to find out today is, okay, so it's not requiring any pump pressure to come downhill, but how about if we go back up the hill? I've walked all the way back up the hill now. You can see where my black hoses connect to my, my blue hose. And there's the pump. So right now the pump is probably two foot higher than this connection right here. So if, if my science class was correct, I could disconnect this blue hose from the black hose and open up the valves on my pump, not even have my pump working, just allowing gravity to take water out of that reservoir. Theoretically, it should run all the way down to that that irrigation ditch and back up here simply by the property of water hoping to seek its own level. Let's give that a try. I've disconnected the the long, long black hose from the 
shorter blue hose. The hoses are empty. There's no water in them at all yet. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to open up the ball valve that's, that will allow water to flow from my reservoir through the drive pipe down to the pump. And right away my pump starts pumping because it's that uh, vertical design. But whatever pumping it's doing, the water's not going anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the delivery line going downhill. should stop my pump immediately. Yeah, it did. Because there's no back pressure on the system. Okay, we'll give this time for uh, water in that reservoir to flow via gravity all the way down to... Uh, all the way down to the end there and look at this it is coming out hold on just a minute right in the middle of my uh my sentence fairway green showed up they're gonna put some lime out for me today uh but as i was saying hey look at this water is coming out of this pipe that's no pumping action that's just water let me pull this up a little bit This is the water coming out of that tank up there. And the tank is not under pressure. It's just gravity. And probably if I reach this thing over my head, which would make it higher than the tank, this water would stop. Look at that. Proof positive that water does seek its own level. Let me bring the hose down till I'm level with the level of the water in the tank over there. Come on, boy. There it is. Now it's coming back up. All right. Well, this brings up another interesting thought. Now, even though this water has traveled more than 300 feet down to the uh, to the utility pole where I have that little depression and back up the hill, it required no pumping power to do that. So, does that mean now I can connect my blue hose right here and get the same results I got uh, when I connected the blue hose directly to the pump? I think it's going to be pretty close. I think uh, where I might lose something is uh, the energy lost due to friction going over 300 feet, traveling over 300 feet through that black hose. And there may be some leaks where the the hoses joined together. We're going to try it out. So at this point, we have water in this black hose coming up to here just due to plain old gravity. It's not going past that point. Uh, let me turn on the pump and this pump probably would not work because I don't have any back pressure yet. See, I don't have any back pressure. I need to close this valve because even though I've got water, I got over 300 feet of water in that pipe, there's no elevation to it. So there's no actual back pressure on the pump. So I'll go ahead and start the pump up with the delivery valve closed. That thing sure starts easy. I love this style of pump. Uh, we're going to let that go until we build up pressure in the in the pressure tank. All right, should be significant pressure in the tank. Let's go ahead and start slowly opening the delivery valve. Do it very slowly. Just let that water creep up that blue hose until we get enough weight going vertical to Put back pressure on the pump. The pump's not working the way it did the other day. It seems like it's cycling slower. Check 
I just make sure I don't have any bad leaks. If I have leaks in the delivery line, that means that uh, I'm not getting enough back pressure. All right, we're going to take this slow and easy. When I get that valve all the way open, we'll see if water's coming out of the blue hose. Eureka! I got the delivery valve wide open now. And I, I'm not going to bring my clock out here like I did the other day. But I can just look at this stream of water. That looks like pretty much the same stream of water I had the other day. It may be just a little bit less, but of course I'm pumping a long distance today. So that answers the question, right? The question was, can we run water downhill from the delivery attachment? Take our delivery line downhill. The answer is yes. And the pump will not work unless you bring that delivery line to an elevation that is higher than your pump. So you can go downhill as long as you come back uphill. And once you're evil, uh, even on level ground with the pump, uh, you may as well in your mind think, well, I haven't even gone downhill. I'm starting at the pump. And then go ahead and get your pump started the regular way just by slowly opening the release valve on the delivery side until you get enough water in your delivery line above the pump to provide ample back pressure. And it's working fine. Now at this point, there's a lot more pressure on this black hose than there was when all I used was gravity to run water through it. So we'll walk down here and just make sure we don't have any loose connections or holes or anything like that. When water's just flowing like drainage, uh, your, your connection is not that important. But when it's got pressure, it does make a difference. Okay, I don't see any water leaking. foot hoses that looks good too okay we're good to go so I think the only uh, energy I lose would be the friction inside these these garden hoses if your delivery line was PVC pipe there'd be less friction to worry about I'm really happy we did this today pump still going all right Hopefully today or tomorrow I'll be able to get this pump down in the creek somewhere. If so, I'll take a video and we'll, we'll see you again on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Why was this experiment worth a flip? I mean, other than curiosity, what is the benefit of knowing if you can attach a downhill delivery line well I'll tell you why it's all about ram pump placement last year I can't even begin to tell you how much trouble it was with that ram pump I had going underneath the highway and everything and eventually after I had enough supply line I had to pump hundreds of feet uphill uh, an elevation of over 40 feet of elevation this year I'm doing something different you can see how level this ground looks here from this culvert a couple of hundred feet down there to that uh, to the wood line the elevation between here and there is only about six to eight feet my plan this year is to go up the creek that you can't see, go up the creek a couple of hundred feet where there's a spring and a little bit of a waterfall there. I'm going to put that ram pump with that 20 foot drive pipe on it 
and just run our delivery line down that creek, downhill all the way, and then turn here. And however height I have to have here to make sure I got enough back pressure on the pump, great. Delivery line is cheap. You can use garden hose for delivery line. Supply line is big and expensive. And especially if you're in a creek that zigzags every 15, 20 feet, like a big S going through there, it's complicated. You end up having to put in stand pipes and everything else. My advice is that if you can find a place where you, where you have like three feet of drop or close to three feet, you can just use a, a, a short drive pipe and in my case I can just let gravity work for me without the pump working that'll take that all that water up there all the way downstream to right over there and then I will only use my pump to provide enough pressure to go up to this I'm gonna put my swimming pool here this year hope that makes sense to you think about it think about it when you look at your bank balance spend two or three four hundred dollars on supply line equipment when for you know less than 20 bucks 25 bucks you can get a hundred feet of delivery hose or just cheap garden hose well, this ain't cheap garden hose but you know what I'm saying okay Let's get this thing wrapped up and put on YouTube.